As a seasoned traveler who worked as an international flight attendant, now mom of two littles, I'm going to share inside tips on what you should know before your long haul flight with kids. After you check into your flight, once the gate agent who's working your flight arrives at the desk, go up to them and politely ask if there are any two open seats that you can move into. A lot of people don't think about the day of mishaps that happen on travel days. So some people don't check in for their flight, which means this leaves extra seats that open up last minute. That you lose a seat you paid for because you'll be moving to another open seat. Now this really pertains to traveling internationally. Once you book your flight, check in with the airline to see if you can reserve a bassinet for your long haul flight. My infant didn't spend a lot of time in his bassinet, but I do appreciate those 10 to 20 minute breaks that I had in my hand. Keep your stroller with you throughout every leg of the flight. This means checking it as what they call a claim at gate. This ensures that while you're traveling through the airport, you will have your newborn infants locked in, strapped in, ready to just move quickly through the airport if needed. And it also allows you to know that you're with your hands to tow other things snacks snacks and more snacks bring food people don't know that you can bring almost any type of food as long as it's not a liquid this will relieve stress with these expensive airport food prices or the hassle of trying to make it to find food that your kids will eat give your kids time to roam explore and burn off energy while you are on the ground when you book your ticket do some research on the airports you'll be traveling through to see if they have any cool activities for your kids during layovers even if it includes your child going up and down steps keep them awake keep them active so that on the plane they are worn out and that they can sit down you will be surprised some of these airports have really cool facilities kid friendly mom friendly just for families like you whether you're booking your own ticket or having someone else book your ticket make sure your infant is added on every leg of the flight sometimes your itinerary might include a third party airline another airline company other than the one you book through and do this to avoid fees, delays, and more stress on your travel day. 10 things that I learned after traveling with two kids internationally in less than five minutes. We took our kids to Europe, spending three weeks in Germany, then a week in Amsterdam. This is coming from both my, I worked as a customer service agent perspective and my, I'm a paid passenger traveling with two young kids perspective.